Increased use of computer tomography scans or CT scans in children may mean an increased risk for radiation-induced cancer. Now that's according to a pediatric medical journal. We're taking action for your health tonight with what you need to know about CT scans and your kids. Well, you'd be able to see if there's a tumor, you'd be able to see if there's bleeding, you'd be able to see if there's a stroke. I mean, the Dr. Matthew Burlett is the medical director of radiology at St. Joseph's Hospital, and he says CT scans like this one are one of his best tools to diagnose patients. But they do use a low dose of radiation, and a recent article in JAMA, Pediatrics, calls attention to the potential increased risk in radiation-induced cancer in kids due to the increased use of these scans. A review of CT scans performed at seven hospital systems found that scans of the head, abdomen, and pelvis, chest, or spine doubled in children under five years old and tripled in children between five and 14 from 1996 to 2005. Kids are 10 times more sensitive to radiation than adults, and that's why this has become an issue. The study authors estimate that 5,000 future cancers could be caused by the roughly 5 million pediatric CT scans that are performed each year. Burlett says patients shouldn't be scared by that number. It's actually low. So you're talking about 0.001% are developing cancers, and it's also, again, potential. It's not the actual number. And he says his doctors always weigh the risk versus benefit before ordering a test that includes radiation. Still, as a result of studies like this one, hospital systems like BayCare are already making changes, aiming to reduce unnecessary scans for kids, as well as decrease radiation exposure. Dr. Burlett says parents can ask if there are alternative tests such as x-rays or ultrasound, but he adds that typically ER physicians are very well trained and understand what the risks of radiation are and will avoid that kind of imaging unless it really is necessary. If you'd like some more information on all of my health stories, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS, under Pages.